Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Our next guest is the chef, author, photographer, graphic designer, and illustrator of two cookbooks, Your Time to Cook and Your Time to Bake. Please welcome award-winning author and independent filmmaker, Robert Blakeslee. Robert, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, Renaissance man here. You did it all with these two books, right? Yeah, yeah. everything. Okay. Everything you see, I did. All right, so recipes, first tell me how you got them all. Uh, well, I've been cooking for a long time. I've mm -hmm. been cooking since I was seven years old. I uh, started creating my own recipes at about 14. And uh, there are a lot of family recipes, inventions. Mm -hmm. uh, I've cooked, you know, just so many different meals. And I don't ask people if they like my food. I put it down, they shut up, they clean off the plate. <laughs> I know they like the food. So if they're quiet at dinner, you know it's good food. Exactly. If they're saying nice things, but they're pushing the food around the plate, that's not a good sign. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. So I did, I did <clears throat> mention to you, I'm not a huge cook. But you said anyone can cook off of these recipes. Yeah, exactly. As a matter of fact, I have 140 pages in the first book just on how to cook, the ingredients, techniques, terminology. And then most of the recipes are very simple, uh, probably average about five steps. And every recipe, step-by-step -step photo instructions. Mm -hmm. So you see every step and a finish shot. Mm -hmm. Which is important, right? Oh, yeah. So tell me, you did everything with this book. You even shot the photographs. Why did you choose to do everything? Uh, it's a lot faster that way. <laughs> Actually, I used to work as an art director and creative director, and I've learned, you know, throughout the years all the different uh, techniques, and I learned how to illustrate, and, mm -hmm. you know, I was trained as a graphic designer. Um, but I just find, you know, it was a lot faster. I get more control, and no one could keep up with me. I mean, I work, <laughs> you know, when I'm doing these books, 14 hours a day, you know, morning till night. Right. Uh, doing all the work. And it's interesting, you said when you took the pictures um, of, of this food that it's hard to make it look good, but at the same time, you didn't stylize the food. It's not been stylized or retouched. Actually, like, you know, when you see a burger commercial and they uh -huh. show you what it's supposed to look like and it you buy it. It never looks like that. Yeah, it's nothing like it. Right. Uh, and I used to do, actually, uh, I started an in-house food uh, photography department for Lucky Stores. It's an old grocery store chain. and. Um, we used to use a food stylist. You would never eat the food that we, I would shoot. Mm -hmm. um, so what I decided to do was just shoot everything right fresh out of the oven, right, right off the stovetop. And uh, so you'll actually get, you know, look like mm -hmm. what the photograph will show you as opposed to most cookbooks where they have a food stylist and I put it in foam and paint it and dye it and right. it never tastes it and it looks that way. Okay, aside from the books, you also have a YouTube channel. Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Everything's Your Time to Cook. I have a website, Your Time to Cook, and that'll lead you to my blog and all the information on the books. Um, the YouTube channel, I did a little something different. Instead of just photographing the recipe, mm -hmm. I have humorous introductions. So like the last one I did was called uh, Cupcake Psycho. And I took a section from Psycho and um, and then did it with cupcakes. Instead of using like a knife, I used right. chocolate syrup. You know? <laughs> so you made it fun. Right. You made it fun. Okay, so I told you I flipped through the book and one of the first things I came to was egg salad. Are there any healthy choices in the book? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, the thing is most people, um, if you cook for yourself, you can control the ingredients. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing is people ask me about healthiness and, you know, first of all, there's tons of vegetarian, you know, recipes in there and you can control the ingredients, you know, when you cook yourself. When you buy something in a box and you read those ingredients, all the nutrition has been taken out. You're not getting any nutritional value out of the food, mm -hmm. and on top of that, high calories. So I even have a low-calorie, low-fat substitution page mm -hmm. in the book where you can substitute ingredients. Oh, wow, that's great. Okay, so you said you've been cooking for a long time. You actually grew up in the Bay Area. When did, it, when did cooking become so important to you? When did you say, okay, this is what I'm going to do as a job? Well, I've been actually uh, you know, having dinner parties for probably about 25 years, and my friends begged me for my recipes. And as a typical cook, you know, I just threw this in, threw that in, didn't know what I was doing. So I got all the measuring cups out and figured out what I was making. And then um, I, I had 225 pages at that point. So I said, well, I used to do food photography. I'm a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. Let's do the kind of cookbook I always wanted to see where everything is photographed, you know, mm -hmm. so there's no guesswork. Right. I know my mom would always say, oh, get it to the consistency you want. And I'd say, what is the consistency yeah, I want? That, right? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so tell me, about, uh, tell me about some of the recipes here. And, and it's not only cooking, but it's also baking, too. Yeah, my first book is Your Time to Cook. Mm -hmm. And that's a general cookbook with all different types of recipes. It's international cuisine. Um, you know, I have French, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, Mexican, American. And um, all the recipes are very easy. You know, I try to make everything where you have the full flavor, but you know, limited ingredient list, and you can find all the ingredients in the grocery store. So you don't have to 
where do I find this, you know, kind of recipe. I I've, can't tell you how many times I've run across a recipe where I can't make it or don't want to make right. it because I have to go somewhere to get something that I can't find. And quickly, it's important to keep the recipe simple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. All right. Well, Robert, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. And for more information about Robert and his books, please log on to yourtimetocook.com. And we'll be back after this break.